What's up fifth graders? Today's lessons on estimating division using divide by 10 patterns. All right, let's get started. First problem, 513 divided by 12. Now today, all we're gonna do is get an estimate, meaning we're gonna round our divisor and dividend to numbers that we can easily divide to see an approximate answer. So first, let's look at our divisor and we see 12 is close to 10. So we're gonna round it to 10. Now that means then we're gonna round our dividend to the nearest 10. So 513 is closest to 510. So our estimation is 510 divided by 10. And using our divide by 10 patterns, we know we can cross out a zero in both numbers to get 51 divided by one, which equals 51. So 513 divided by 12 is approximately close to 51. Now this isn't the exact answer, but it gets us reasonably close if we wanted to do long division and get an exact answer. Next example, 3,456 divided by 116. First we look at our divisor 116 and see its closest zero number is 100, so we'll round it to 100. Now 3,456 we can round to the nearest 100, so we'll round it to 3,500. Now we can cross out two zeros in our divisor and dividend, which leaves us with 35 divided by one, which gives us 35. So 3,456 divided by 116 is approximately close to 35. Next example, 4,196 divided by 72. First, we'll start with our divisor 72. Its nearest zero number is 70, so that's what we're gonna round it to. Now, when we round to numbers like 70, then we look at our dividend, particularly the first two digits, and we see it's 41. Now we know 42 is a multiple of seven, so we're gonna round our dividend to 4,200. And that's the key when you're rounding your dividend. You need to round to a multiple of the single digit represented in your divisor. So now we can cross off a zero in the divisor and a zero in the dividend, which leaves us with 420 divided by seven. Again, we just look at 42 and think seven times six is 42. So we know 42 divided by seven is six. And we put our zero back in our answer. So our answer is 60. So 60 is the approximate answer to 4,196 divided by 72. Last example, 26,324 divided by 396. We always look at our divisor first to see what the closest zero number is so we can round it. So in this case, we'll round 396 to 400. Now we look at our dividend to see what the closest multiple of four is that we can round to. So you should be thinking in your head, well, four times six is 24, and four times seven is 28. And our first two digits are 26, so we can either round up to 28,000 or down to 24,000. Both estimates would be fairly good. And since I rounded up for my divisor, I'm gonna round up to 28,000. So we'll have 28,000 divided by 400. So now cross out two zeros and we're left with 280 divided by four. 28 divided by four is seven. So 280 divided by four is 70. And 70 is our approximate or our estimated answer to this division problem. So to sum it all up, how to estimate division problems. First round your divisor, and then round your dividend to the nearest multiple of that divisor, and then divide using your multiplication fact families. Thanks for watching, peace out. Created using Powtoon.